Hello there and welcome to the Card Grotto. Today I've got the new release from Clearly Besotted to share with you. The new set's released today, that's the 1st of June 2023 at 8pm at British Summer Time. You can purchase the sets as one big bundle, so that's all of the sets plus free gifts and a discount off of the price. That is exclusive to the Clearly Besotted shop here in the UK. But you can also purchase the sets separately from Clearly Besotted and also selected retailers worldwide. And I will have a list of those retailers in the description bar on YouTube and also over over on my blog so as I usually do I'm going to share the new release with you and also the samples that I have made as a design team member I think it's such a fun release this month perfect summer kind of sets so the first one here is magical corners absolutely adorable so the meerkats are back if you watched last month's release you'll see that they were some little tiny baby meerkats these ones are a little bit bigger in size so so cute with the kind of sea scene there and then also the corner image here with the unicorn on the clouds with the rainbows and the moon such a beautiful set really cute little fairy there as well a can be used for lots of different occasions i think this set but you've got some kind of fun sort of magical sentiments hope your day is magical dream big make a wish um wish upon a star um wish big so yeah really great set for different occasions i thought i would go down the birthday route because that's tends to be the cards that i need the most so i thought that i would stamp out the corner image here I coloured that with Copic markers and fussy cut that out with scissors and then I added some distress ink in the background. I tend to do this for these corner images. I do always seem to kind of gravitate towards this layout and um, this kind of design I suppose for these corner images because I think it kind of focuses your eye on the image which is always a good thing I think with um, cards. So I did some distress inking there in the corner, kind of made it darker in the bottom corner and then faded it out to white. And then I added some splatter on with some white paint and then also a distress re-inker as well. So I could get some kind of darker marks so that I thought it kind of looked a little bit maybe like bubbles and sort of water. And then I sort of have this sort of scene be sort of that they're in water, but not quite, if that makes sense. So and then the sentiment there is from the A Little Sentimental set. Next up is the Bee Well set. So, so cute. There's lots of lovely bees here. Got the one with the flowers, the one with the bandages on their head, the one with the plaster or the band-aid holding the thermometer. Really, really cute kind of images and then there is like the scene here with the emergency honey and the flowers so obviously great for get well cards great sentiments be strong uh, be well soon be brave honey you'll be better soon so like i said obviously perfect for get well cards but i think this bee in particular can be used for lots of different occasions I did go down the get well route so I stamped out the bee holding the flowers coloured that with Copic markers and fussy cut that out with scissors I heat embossed the sentiment there onto black cardstock and then for the background I used the honeycomb crunch stencil and I tried to be sort of more random with the you know with the stenciling in the background which isn't kind of like me I do find it quite difficult to sort of make it things look random I tend to sort of more go in a shape like a circle or something like that but I thought it looked quite nice kind of like it was part of a bigger scene if that makes sense so yeah really great I love that honeycomb crunch stencil Next up is the Balloon Bunch lineup set. So a great set again that is kind of more um, kind of celebratory or <laughs> kind of thing. So you've got the balloons here. So they're kind of holding the different letters of the balloons to create one scene. So there's the happy there and you could combine it with the happy anniversary, happy birthday to you. And then there's the thanks there at the bottom and you could have that just on its own, obviously, or there you could combine it with the thanks for being a truly wonderful friend. And there are some little stars there as well to create some little scenes with. I didn't get a chance to use it this month. I did run out of time, unfortunately, but it's such a cute set. Next up is the Sunny Day Play set, a really fun set, perfect for summer cards. All the hippos there, kind of ready for summer, one with the rubber ring there, one with the snorkel just so fun and lovely i absolutely adore these seagulls got the beach huts there and the water 
a little fish there and the starfish as well some extra little stars and things like I said I I love the hippos for sure but I fell in love with these seagulls and I just wanted to use the seagulls for a little card so that's what I did for my sample here I created a little hexagon shaped card and I just added some waves at the bottom. These are actually retired dies, unfortunately, but I'm sure there are other companies with um, wave dies. These were MFT. I could have used a wave kind of stencil, but the reason I didn't was because I wanted to pop the seagull sort of inside of the waves and these have legs. I could have masked them off, but it was easier for me just to kind of hide the legs inside of the waves. And then I used the cloudy days stencil to add some clouds in the sky. And then I love this cute little seagull sort of, I thought he looked like he was waving to his friends in the sea. So I did the sentiment there that says, hello friend from the tiny type set I thought it just made a cute little card to sort of send to someone just because next up is the balloon bunch corners set so another great set for kind of celebrations and birthdays and things like that so there is the two corner images the one here with the balloons and then the other one with the balloons and the little cute bunny there you've got separate images here i just think this dog with those glasses is just so funny and some stars some little hearts some movement marks things like that sentiment that reads less let's let's party excuse me so yeah really great set can be used for generic sort of celebration cards but also birthday cards as well and i did end up going down the route of more of a kind of celebration card rather than a birthday one so i used the sentiment that says let's celebrate from the tiny type set but i still thought it would be quite good as a birthday card even with that sentiment as well so i kind of made it a little bit more generic i stamped out the image here with the bunny coloured that with Copic markers and fussy cut that out with scissors and again I used the same layout on the other card did some distress inking in that corner there and then splattered on some white paint just for some added interest and popped the image on top and then last but not least is the floating fun set another fun set for summer cards so there is the image here with the water slides and then all of these cute, adorable characters in their rubber rings. I especially love this bunny in the donut rubber ring. I thought she was just so cute. Some more kind of generic sentiments again. Things like enjoy your break. It's summertime. I hope you enjoy your summer. Have lots of fun. So again, a great set that could be used like just kind of because you want to send a card to someone. Not necessarily because you have a specific occasion. And so this is the card that I made using that set. Kept it really quite simple. I stamped out the characters there, coloured those with Copic markers and fussy cut those out. And then instead of using the background sort of image, I decided to create my own kind of sort of simple sort of scene, I suppose. So I added some water, just dress ink for the bottom, basically, to kind of make it look like water. Added in a few sort of splash marks there. And then I just used the cloudy day stencil again for the sky. The sentiment there, although I love the sentiment in the the set, I thought it was a little bit shorter in width. So I wanted something a little bit longer to fit the kind of scene that I created. So that sentiment there is from the Summer Corners set, which I'm guessing probably was released last summer. Um, but the sentiment works really well for this kind of images too. So that was a look at the new release from Clearly Besotted for June 2023. Links to the products that I shared will be listed in the description bar on YouTube and also over on my blog. I think it's just such a fun sort of summary release this month. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.